we do want to start with the very latest track on Hurricane Lee. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Stephanie Simone. The National Hurricane Center is out with a new update on the storm's path. We want to start with Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon, who has been tracking the storm very closely and keeping an eye on any potential impacts here. Mark. Yeah. Uh, so the latest is in from the National Hurricane Center. The storm is holding its own at 115 mile an hour winds uh, with some higher gusts. That is a category three on the Saffir Simpson scale. The center of the storm is about 535 miles to the south of Bermuda and is continuing to the move to the northwest at seven miles an hour. So no issues for Puerto Rico, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, or even um, the Caribbean here, the Bahamas, as uh, we look for the storm to take a turn to the north and also weaken over the next 48 hours as it passes to the west of Bermuda to, uh, Thursday into early Friday, going from a cat two to a cat one. We'll be monitoring that closely, of course, as it heads up toward Nova Scotia. So uh, our model's really in agreement that the storm center stays to our east, but this has a large wind field associated with it. So even as it passes uh, to the east of New England, as we head through the day on Saturday, it will spread clouds and as well some wind across southern New England. So uh, with regard to the strongest wind, and this is uh, showing the probability of tropical storm force winds, that's 39 miles an hour or greater, uh, maybe parts of southeastern New England, but here in Connecticut, certainly will get breezy Friday night into Saturday. Uh